Hello, today we are doing partial products. We're going to be doing three digits times one digit. And feel free to click on the description if you wanna get the rest of these and we do different um, difficulty levels. But today we're doing three digits times one digit. And we're going to do 342 times six. So partial products just means you're taking that big number, 342, 342, and you're cutting it into parts. And then you're just multiplying each of those parts by six instead of doing it all together. The first step, and you can use the color coding to help you, is to take 342 and put it into these three boxes in expanded form. So 342, the three is really a 300. The four is a 40. And the two is a two. And this is how you write 342 in expanded form. 300 plus 40 plus two. That's this number, it's all on the same team, it all came together, but it's gonna multiply against the six. So the six goes in the red box. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna multiply 300 times six. That's what this little purple arrow is pointing towards. And you're gonna put that in this box. And this is the purple and red box. And then you're doing 40 times six. And you're going to put that here. And then you'll do two times six. So you're just doing one part at a time. And then at the end, you add it all together. So let's go ahead and start and feel free to follow along and do it with me now, or you can pause it, try it on your own and then unpause and see how it went. For 300 times six, we're gonna forget about the zeros, pretend they're not there and you're just gonna do three times six, which is 18. And then you just stick those two zeros back in. So three times six is 18, but 300 times six is 1800 or 1800. Now we'll come down to the green versus red and we'll do 40 times six. Again, forget about the zero, just do four times six, which is 24, and then stick the zero back on. Finally, we're going to do two times six, which is 12. So what we just did there is we did 300 times six, and then we did four times six, and then we did two times six. We just did each digit at a time. We did the parts. The last step is just to add them all together. Starting on the right, zero plus zero plus two is two, four plus one and zero is five, eight plus two is 10, carry the one, and one plus one is two. So we got 2,052, and that's how we do partial products, three digits times one.